All right, so you want to start by grabbing your pencil and I'm going to draw a circle on the paper. It's going to be on the smaller side and I'm going to put it around here. This is going to be the head of the bird and try not to push on your pencil so hard when you were when we we're drawing because there's going to be things that you you'll want to erase afterwards. I'm going to press on my pencil hard just so that you can see it in the camera, but draw try to draw pretty lightly, okay? And I'm going to draw the circle right here. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Mine's a little wonky. That's fine. Okay. And then we're oh, this way. And then we're gonna draw a second circle right underneath. But this time it's going to be bigger than this one. Okay. And then that's gonna start making the shape of the body. So I'm gonna make it around this size. And again, just a reminder, try to draw everything pretty lightly so that if you need to erase something, you can, or it'll be easier to. All right, and now we're going to start connecting it so that it starts to take the shape of the, the body. And I'm gonna start by connecting the top here. I'm just gonna make a curved line. It dips in a little bit, comes up. And then we're gonna do the same here, and I'm gonna dip it in a little bit more though, so. Like that. And then we're going to add a shape on the bottom and it's going to make it look like a weird vegetable, but that's fine. So I'll just draw it out and show you what the shape looks like and then you can follow along. Okay, so it's almost like you're adding a triangle at the end, but you curve it out at the bottom here. And that's going to be the bottom of the bird. Okay. And now we are going to add the beak. And the beak is pretty long. So, um, you know, and it's, it's pretty long and pointy. And I like to add it around halfway through the head here. Okay. So... That's the length I kind of like to make it, but if it's a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, that's fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the little eye, and I like to place it around here. And it's just a little circle like that. Okay, and now we're going to add the wing. So the wing, the best way I could describe it, it kind of looks like the the little shark fin uh, on the top of it, or even just any fins in general. I'll, I'll just draw it out and show you. Um, I like to make it about the size of the body. So if you want to go ahead and measure it, that's fine. If you just want to eyeball it, go ahead. But I, I kind of like to uh, make it a similar size to the body. So I, I measure from the bottom of the head to the tail here. And then that's about how how big I'm going to want it. So around, oops, around there. And then to start in the center here. Okay, so Again, kind of a similar shape to the bottom, how I said it looks like you're about to make a triangle, but you round it out at the end here and then bring it back down. And then now we're going to make the shape of the tail. So um, it's going to be sticking out on the bottom here. And I'll show you again. I'll show you, I'll, I'll draw it out and then you can see the shape of it. So this one, I don't even know how to describe that shape, but <laughs> it looks like a little, what does that look like? A little flipper, something? 
I don't know, but it, it's <laughs> something like this, you know, more rectangular. And then again, it's it's more on the curved side. I curve out the, the edges here. And that should be the main shape of your hummingbird. And now I'm gonna go in and add uh, details to the wing so that it looks like it has feathers. And by doing that, I just go ahead and make lines going in like this. And then same thing with the tail. Make a few lines in here. All right. I hope you're following along well. I hope it's not too difficult and it makes sense. Um, if you need to pause the video at any point, do that and then, you know, draw it out. Okay, so now is the part where, like I said, in the beginning, if you drew lightly, it'll be easier to erase certain sections. Um, unfortunately, since I used a darker color pencil and it's hard to see, uh, uh, so that you, what am I trying to say? Sorry. Um, unfortunately, since I used a darker color pencil so that it's easier for you to see on camera, it's, it's going to be hard for me to erase it, but it, it shouldn't be hard for you. But the, the sections that I recommend erasing are these lines here I'm gonna erase this and then you also want to erase this line here okay and then another part I usually like to erase is this line here as well as this line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and outline my bird with a Sharpie, that way you can clearly see um, what I end up with, uh, because right now it's, it's probably hard since it's all smudged, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then you'll have a better idea of what I mean. Okay, and then for the wings, I forgot to mention that on the bottom, if you want to go an extra step and add details to the feathers here, like you see on this example, I like to curve the edges here. So I'll make them go in like that. And hopefully you can see what I mean while I'm drawing it right now. So I curve this up, I round this up. So I round out the end here. You can see how it's straight at first when I first drew it out, and now I'm just drawing rounded ends there. Okay. All right, so that's the part that I wanted you to leave outlined, and then you can go ahead and erase everything in the center here. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can see that well. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and add the sun in the background. If you happen to have something that's a large enough circular shape to trace over, that's great. Uh, maybe like a, a a small plate or I don't know <laughs> the top of a bowl too you can trace around that but if not um, you can just go ahead and make the circle yourself I like I said before when we were drawing these parts too it doesn't have to be perfect um, and my circles definitely not gonna be perfect either but I'm gonna go ahead and just wing it but again if you have something you can trace that would be good but 
I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. And it helps me if I can draw the whole circle out. So again, I'm, um, I advise you to draw it lightly and then that way you can draw it through your bird and then afterwards you can erase here. But it helps me to draw the whole thing so it connects better. So that's why I'm drawing through my bird right now. Just trying to get the right shape. Eh, enough. Yeah, so <laughs> unless you have something to trace over, the circle's not gonna be perfect and that's fine. So that's going to be the sun in the background and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some clouds. And I, I usually like to add three but you can add as many as you'd like. If you'd like to go ahead and add even more details, I don't know, you wanna add maybe a tree on the side or some plantitas, some flowers coming, you know, from the ground and all that, go for it. This is your drawing. I'm just gonna add three clouds though to mine. And the way I draw them is I just make a bunch of little curved lines like this, so. Um, I don't even know if there's a name for that. Oh, just <laughs> I'm gonna add one here. And then I'm going to add a third one here. And then you can even add a face on them or a face on the, the sun, whatever you want to do with your drawing. And then I'm going to go ahead again and outline these things with Sharpie, that way you can see them better in the camera. And then, mine's not going to erase well, but again, you can go ahead and erase certain lines that you don't want to show up. And yeah, that should be your image. And like I said, if you have things to color with, you can do that at the very end. And I went ahead and did my own example here, but you don't have to use these same colors. You can use your own color scheme. And I mainly just wanted to show you how to get this bird and, and then how to add a scene behind it. But yeah.